Hi, my name is Keith Cooper in Northlight Images and in this short video I'm going to have a quick look at a new light I was sent to have a look at and um, I thought yeah it's another light it's a battery light yeah whatever what's special it this is actually um, the name on it is Inky uh, Gold Crow this is a GC30 now I put all the specs for this in the notes for the video if you want to look at it um, the reason I've got it, because it does quite a few things, and in particular it's useful for some of my commercial industrial photography. Now, the video I've got here, I've changed the setup slightly from what I normally use. I've still got a big softbox on a light over here. That's set to around about 4,000, just over 4,000K uh, lighting, the color temperature. I normally have some lights up the top here, which give fill light, they're sort of just some desk lamps with some LED type white bulbs in, also 4K. Um, but here's the actual thing itself. It's a little uh, battery powered LED light. Now, it's an interesting design because obviously the batteries are self contained. It's USB. Uh, the power, this is the GC30 model. I say, have a look at the specs for all the details. I'm not going to try and memorize them here, but um, I've just attached it to a plate on a tripod here. And it has a control at the back here, and it's a USB socket at the back USB 3. Now you can charge it and it charges quickly so it'll make use of high voltage USB charging, quick charging, but you can also use it as a power pack. So I could use that and could use it to recharge my phone or something like that. Always useful to have stuff like this when you're working out. Now I do quite a bit of industrial photography. The thing about industrial photography is the kind of stuff I do is often very large things. I sometimes need to get inside equipment. Um, yeah, I'm talking big equipment and sometimes on top of odd angles and things. And I can't set up flash and big lighting. So something like this is potentially useful for it. Now, as it stands, I've got it. It's got a little reflector on the front here. And as I say, it's quite bright as the, the beam set of it. And I think it's currently set and this is where I need to check my phone because um, I've actually connected a phone up to it and it's currently set for 4200K. Now the colour of it seems fairly good, it's correctable. Um, I've got some targets here. I'll, I'll play around with this a bit in post so you can see some of the differences with it. But you can adjust the brightness. I can do it from, you, uh, from uh, Bluetooth here. Or there's a very interesting control ring at the back here. Because apart from the USB socket, uh, it's claimed to be waterproof. Now, I'm not going to try any tricks of waterproofing, splashing water on it here and things like that. But apparently, as long as you seal up the socket at the back here with a piece of tape or something, it doesn't matter if it's used outdoors and it gets rained on. Now, what the hot bits will feel, there's a, f there's a fan that will come on if it gets too hot inside it. But how that works, I don't know. I'm not going to test it. But the interface is a ring at the back and it freely rotates. It would appear that it's got magnets in it. You can feel a slight bit of resistance. So to switch it on, um, you rotate the ring several times and there's a very nice little display on the back, really sharp detailed display, um, which you rotate that and you see a green bar goes across and when it goes fully across, it switches on. It's a way of sort of locking it down. Uh, it says for transport mode. Now, I said this is the GC30 model. There is a, a, a model available in the States, now, and I put the d details in the notes, with twice the battery capacity. Uh, this is limited by the maximum capacity that uh, can be shipped in the UK. So this is not as powerful as the one you can get in the States. Uh, seems, they, seems a little less concerned over there about lithium batteries catching fire. Um, something to be careful with. I never leave high capacity lithium char uh, batteries charging up unattended. Uh, not the thing to do overnight, uh, no matter what you think of them. I'm always very careful of handling batteries. I've seen too many uh, accidents and what happens to them when they catch fire. So you really don't want that. But for safety purposes, the UK one is the GC30. Now, this, dis this ring display that I mentioned turning around, as you turn it up, if I turn it up, we should see the brightness should come up. I'm going to look at the screen. Yeah, the brightness comes. Brightness is changing there. Uh, you can see it on the back. Let's see, it's a nice, nice sharp screen. Now, the thing with this is obviously I can control it here from the, uh, 
from the phone, just a, an app I downloaded onto the iPhone here. And I do that, but you can also control it from there. How do I control things like the color temperature? Because obviously just the one dial. What we do is move it sort of a little bit and hold it. And you can feel uh, the magnets inside holding the ring in place, trying to pull it back. Leave it for a couple of, a sec couple of seconds and the display changes to color temperature. Now, it's easier to do it rather than fiddle of this and put my stronger glasses on because well, it's a good, dis good display on the back, it's very tiny, so I need stronger glasses. Much easier for me to change the brightness like this. That should show. I'm just looking at the monitor, yeah, it does showing there. And I can change the color temperature. So I can take it up to daylight, take it down to quite warm. There we go. Let's reduce the brightness a little bit there so it make it more obvious. It's down to, this is only at 8% it's running. If you want, you can overdrive it as well for short periods as well and get extra light out of it. I've had this running for 25, 30 minutes and the batteries have hardly gone down, but I'm, I'm just using it at the moment at 8%. So if you want it for fill-in light, for the sort of stuff I do for industrial work, this is great. So I can, I'll just change the temperature, take the temperature right down, 2700, take temperature up to 6500. So we've got quite a range of adjustment now. There are effects as well. You can get it to flash and things like that. But yeah, that's not sort of stuff I'm going to be using. I'm not going to be likely using this much for video. But if I uh, actually turn the thing off, and I do that with the ring, and it's turned it off, and uh, there we go, and it's now turning that. I'll take it off here. I've just put a Arca style plate on here just so it attaches to this little tripod. Um, there are tripod fittings at 90 degrees, so you can have this attached any way you like. Um, See, so it's got the reflector on here. Now that locks into place. Just move the tab. That's that. And they can see the actual light for it, the actual unit. Now, that's quite small. How do I attach it to a large uh, softbox? Well, it turns out that, and if I get this right, there we go. There are three rings that open up and now it would take a standard Bowen's fit. So although it's small, it's got these expanding rings on the outside of it. So I can put a proper softbox on it if I needed it for a diffuse light. Um, what's that more useful for? It's the sort of thing if I'm focusing on details or say some machinery and I want a large flat light source. Now I'm not gonna use a huge great softbox for this, but a smallish softbox positioned on that will give a nice flat illumination that I can use for photographing bits of machinery and stuff. And they just pop those and they just, just click back in. There's the mount on there. And I can see it on the back here, it's, it's switched off at the moment. So it rotates several times. And there we go, it's come on, and there we go. There's the brightness coming up. And it's remembered it, it's at whatever I set it at before, 4,000. Yeah, three, well it's 3,900K. Uh, yeah, I, I could see that from the, uh, here. Let's just change it, change the brightness again, change the color temperature again, and there we go. Yeah, so that's it. Just a useful little thing. Uh, nicely compact, very robust. As I say, you can get the higher power one in the States. Um, thanks for asking me to have a look at it. Very useful. Um, if you've got any questions, please do ask. Um, I will always cover little bits and pieces of kit like this that are useful for my commercial photography work. Um, my main stuff is obviously lenses, printers, things like that. But these are the things that just make my job easier when I'm out working in a factory or on a site somewhere. Um, and it's nice and quote, comes in a little bag, whatever. So there you go. Uh, GC30, Inky, Gold Crow, excellent device. Thanks for watching.